Hi, it's Jo from Emily Cat 176 and it's Friday, which means Friday is the time when the what's on list goes on the website and it's a great week coming up. I'm just going to go down the site. There it is there. Now, this coming week, there is so much variety. We've got piano recitals, we've got musical theatre, comedy, jazz, drama. It's just so good. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something that you'd want to look at. There's also the Melbourne International Film Festival, which has started now. I think I in last week's list I gave you the website, but it's miif.com.au and that will tell you what's on and where. There's also uh, there's two shows that are coming up. One's in late August, the other starts in September. Tickets are on sale now. These are in the CBD. They, uh, you can buy your tickets through Ticketek. One's Moulin Rouge. That's the one starting in August. The other one is Death of a Salesman. Now, the Death of a Salesman, um, how can I put this? I looked at their website and the day I wanted to go, the, the how can I put it? The tickets were $209. Now, I'm not paying that for a, a ticket, but it's also got previews. And the previews are from the 1st of September to the 6th of September. And they are $99. And this is how you get to see big shows. You go to the previews. You go to... The dress rehearsals for the ballet you go to midweek performances with drama companies if you can and having said all that if you have got tickets to see death of a salesman i hope you really enjoy it i hope you really enjoy it that it's a good play but other theater companies do these performances on when that run in the cbd there's also a performance of Death of a Salesman at the Drum Theatre in Dandenong. So, really, I think this is why I want to do, this is why I do the list. I'm not just listing the big shows. I want people to look at arts in the suburbs because that's a aff more affordable way to see shows. And ones like PLOS, and I'll go down here and I'll show you... There we go. There they are. Oh, Six Shooter Records. Love the Dead South. Oh, I've got two albums from them. They're so good. Strictly Ballroom. That's a plus show. That really is as good as anything in the big theatres. But it's affordable. That's what is good about this. It's affordable arts. And that's what I'm trying to promote because... You know, money's tight for a lot of people, but that doesn't mean they can't see shows. So I hope that helps. I hope that you find something that you want to see this week. Um, just for an, ex an example, I've got tickets to a show in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be sitting in the boondocks. I really am. But it doesn't matter with that show. And once I've read, I've done my review, you'll understand why. So, as I said, affordable arts. But also, if someone wants to go and see Death of a Salesman, I hope you do. I hope you have a really good time. But as I said, there's plenty more on. Sorry if this is a bit of a mis mismatch. But have a look at the list. And just see what's out there. There's a hell of a lot to see. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, see you next week.